welcome to another episode of Check Out Basket. And yes, you might be going, hmm, usually there's a bag sitting, you know, about here with uh, the food items that we order. Yes. But today, it's going to be slightly different. Um, I've decided to jump on to Uber Eats. You may have seen me use Uber Eats uh, at uh, VidCon 2018 at Melbourne, uh, where I did a collab with uh, my good friend on the Weird Couch EQ, and we tested the McDonald's Brekkie Burger. Well, today we're going to do another McDonald's item, and uh, we're going to order it from Uber Eats, because really, I have another hair, so I'm not going outside today. <laughs> so, we're going to try the Bacon Lovers Burger. Now, from what I can see, it says people that love bacon will probably love this burger. And it's a barbecue bacon lovers. Right, so the barbecue bacon lovers. So barbecue, so we're gonna have some barbecue sauce from, from what I can understand with this one. And some bacon. Now, if it's anything like any of the other burgers we've had with bacon, then can we get two nice pieces of bacon? Like the brekkie burger that we had. That was great. There was two eye, eye rashes of bacon in there. It was great. There was lots of bacon. I loved it. So, let's go down this path and order off Uber Eats, the barbecue bacon lovers. I've got it all set to go here. Let's order it. Find out how long it takes to get here. Okay, so I'm not gonna be stingy today. I am gonna cut it in half, but my offside is gonna get one to himself. So, this isn't out of their gourmet range, so just be, uh, be aware that it is gonna be a little bit on the pricey side. So let's go to you cart. We want it to come to my house. We as soon as possible. It's already got my my payment details saved in there, so that's a good one. So it's between 15 and 20 minutes. That's about how long a Domino's pizza usually takes to get to me. So I shouldn't be too afraid when it says 15 to 20 minutes. I'm thinking that's that's a that's a good time. All right, place order. I have placed the order. Now it's come up with a 15 minute window straight away to start with, but uh, we'll check up on that as time progresses. So when it comes up to order time, I'll be able to tell you how long it actually took. All right, so let's wait for that package to appear here. All right, well, it said 15 to 20 minutes, but it only took 10. Well, actually nine and a half minutes really. Um, for the driver to get here, which was awesome. I have Maccas at my door in nine and a half minutes from push and go. It takes me longer to drive down the street and come back. All right, well, <laughs> that was a, a good fun time. Um, all right, and I didn't even have to do my hair to do this. Uh, as you can see, it is in one of their uh, McDonald's Uber Eats McDonald's delivery bags, which is pretty good. I like them. They're a little bit different, unusual. You know, you get what you pay for when you pay $6.95 for a delivery fee. So, what do you get in the bag? Well, I'm hoping some napkins. The meal itself. And two of these drinky things. So, two drinks, awesome. Now I ordered these to come with spicy shaker fries, which you get in this a bit spicy bags. So we'll do those as, as a part of this review as well. But we'll be reviewing the burger and the spicy shaker fries and you know, Uber Eats getting it here within nine and a half minutes. All right, what do you get in this? Well, of course, you get the fries. And you get a burger. Which, side. Which, 
is nice. As you can see, currently we are playing the the Monopoly in in in, in Australia. So uh, you get your Monopoly thingies and in your gourmet burger box. Nice. It's nice. It's gonna make sure that you know if the Uber Eats driver has a car accident on the way to my house, my burger is gonna be safe inside this cardboard box. All right, let's have a look inside. All right, so remember. This is the barbecue bacon lover. All right, so you gotta be a lover of bacon and barbecues to, to enjoy this burger. What do you get inside this? Now, it looks like a piece of Angus beef. So it's not your normal beef. Remember, this is a gourmet burger. So I can see that there's some, there's some, uh, some stuff going on here. So you get a brioche bun with a bit of a barbecue sauce, you can see there. Uh, you got your Angus patty. Now the Angus patty on at McDonald's is currently a different shape. So it's not like you you formed pure, perfect circle shaped burger. As you can see, it's sort of got a few sh diff different shaped edges. It's still pressed, but it's Angus beef. That's how you can tell. It's also a little bit thicker. It's got some cheese there. Oh, just stringy cheese coming off it too. And three strips of bacon with some mayonnaise. Oh no, four. Four strips of bacon. Now these aren't the um, the rashes of bacon that we had in the Brekkie Burger. Okay, so these are the skinny little bits of bacon that you would get from other places that like crispy bacon. Cheese, more bacon underneath and some mayonnaise. And that does the burger. So we'll just reassemble this, this little bad boy and pull it out and we'll just show you a side angle. As you can see, you've got your uh, your bacon underneath there. You've got your your Angus patty. You got your uh, your cheese and the barbecue sauces in there as well. All right, let's cut her in half and give a side section. Line it up. Trusty knife. Fingers out of the way. Cut straight through. All right, let's have a look at a side section of this bad boy. Okay, as you can see, you got your, your sauce oozing into your beef patty. You got your bacon underneath there. You got two pieces of cheese and some, some white mayonnaise coming out. That looks pretty good. It's not a it's not a humongous burger. It's not a burger as big as my head. It's bigger than my palm. It is a gourmet burger, okay? So it is on a little bit on the pricey side. Um, but look, we'll find out if it's actually worth it. Let's go over and taste test. All right, let's go. So, what we've got in front of us here, Dad, is we've got uh, the uh, barbecue bacon lovers gourmet burger. So, it's got Angus beef in there, the special barbecue sauce. So that's the burger. Looks, what, what do you think by the look of it? It reminds me of the burger phone. The burger phone. <laughs> yeah, the nice, you know how it's got a smooth, yes, yes. shiny top. Yeah, that's a brioche bun, by the way. It's not your oh. standard bun. It's a brioche bun. It, it's telling me to buy it. Right. So we've also got uh, a large fries, as you can see. It's a large fries overflowing, and, and we've up. got uh, a shaker bag. It's a spicy shaker bag, yes. which you do pay extra for. So we're going to be doing a, a, a comparison on those and on this as well. The drinks is just a drink. It comes with the meal. Um, you actually, I, I, I couldn't find an option on Uber Eats just to buy the burger, so we had to buy the meal. Now the meal, don't fall over and faint on me, costs the basic, that's the medium burger meal, $13.45. That's just by itself. Now we did the upgrades. So we got the large and we got the shaker fries. <laughs> So that has brought it up to $14.10 for the, for, the, for the large meal. Now it is on the expensive side guys, right? It is up there on the, on the high end, but as the same as the Oporto burger that we went and tried, it is a gourmet burger. It's not one of your everyday run of the mill cheeseburger, quarter pounder, Big Mac burgers. This is a, this is a gourmet burger. Comes with a, the, I think it's Swiss cheese in there. No. Yeah, it's not your standard plastic yellow cheese. No. Swiss cheese. And the back, there's, look, there, there is four pieces of bacon in there. They're strips. They're not the rashes that you get in your in your in your breakfast burger, which is okay. But 
There's a little, there's four pieces of bacon in there. I think that's okay. You want to check yours and see if you've got four pieces of bacon in there? They're in the bottom part, <laughs> underneath the beef. Yes. You can see them? Yeah, I can see yep. them. So I've seen somebody else do a review on this, mm -hmm. and they couldn't find any bacon in their bacon, bacon. their barbecue bacon lovers burger. So I thought, I'm going to try it for you to yes. find out if there's actually bacon in this thing. All right. So let's go in for uh, a taste of our barbecue bacon lovers burger from McDonald's. Smells lovely. Looks mm. nice. I can smell that smoky barbecue. Mm. Oh. That barbecue sauce is nice on top. That creaminess of the mayonnaise at the bottom drags the burger together. I can taste the bacon. That smoky barbecue sauce gives it a, 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 a it sort of sets it off with with the bacon. The beef. The beef's not dry. I've had I've had I've had these Angus burgers in the past. And the beef's been really dry. It's like they've been sitting in their in their little warm-up for like six hours. This isn't. This actually tastes juicy. There's enough there's enough juice and fat in that in that patty not to not to suck the moisture out of my mouth. I have to have another taste, just 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 to make sure. Yep. Oh. That's nice. Alright. Also, it was $6.95 for delivery. Alright. That's how much a normal Big Mac will cost you. I think that's convenience, right? Yes. Look, look, the Uber Eats driver. Look, he needs to go back to McDonald's and buy himself a quarter pounder just so that he's fueled up to deliver my burger to me. <laughs> Alright, so it is, look, it is on this expensive side, but we've got to try it. We have to try it. We did. It's uber good. It's uber good. Alright, um, so the burger. Value-wise, it is on the pricey side. It's not your everyday go down, pick up your burger for lunch kind of thing. It's, it, it, it is on the pricey side. It is a, look, the, the patty in there is thick. It's not a skinny, skinny flat round patty. It's it's got a bit of meat, it's got a bit of meat in there. What do you think? Out of five, the burger is. Right. Let's have a look at. Um, this is my assessing this. Yep. I like it. Um, you can tell the taste. You, you can tell there's no seeds on it, like McDonald's usually do. Oh, the sesame seeds on the bun. Yes. Yep. Um. It still reminds me of a, a burger phone. Um, for a McDonald's, it's quite good. I'm going to criticise it on one thing. What's that? I'm going to compare it to the Hungry Jacks we had the other day with the... Uh, the Grand Angus. The smoke flavour. The, the smoky Grand really Angus. It really came through good. I mean, really came through strong. Compared to this... It's there, but not as strong. Mm. Okay, so the, la the, the, the comparing it to that, yeah. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't suggest that because this is a bacon burger. Yeah, I so know. the bacon's good. It, we're, we're, it's mainly focused on the barbecue and the bacon on this burger. Yeah. And can you taste that? Yes, you can. Definitely taste the the, uh, the bacon. There's plenty of bacon on it. Like you say, the the mayonnaise and it ties it together. Yeah. Um, Nothing's overpowered, and you can taste the beef. Yes. Which I like in this. And you can tell it's not the normal beef they have in their burger. Yeah. Alright, so, out of five, what is your score? I give it, oh, excuse me, oh, geez, that's really agreeing with me. Oh, another one, there. Um, I'm getting my money's worth, getting them twice. Uh, I'd give it a good, excuse me again, I'd give it a good four. Good four. I think I'm going to go down the same path on this one. 
The only reason it's not going to get a higher score for me is it is a little bit expensive. Look, it is a gourmet burger and I do understand that. If you are out for a good gourmet burger, go for it. It does have that bacon and that barbecue flavour to it. So, I am going to give it a four and a half out of five. So, for the burger, that comes to eight and a half out of five for our combined score for that burger. All right, that's not where we're stopping. We got the spicy shaker fries bag. Now, this is an upgrade on this particular meal so that you can shake these things. It gives you a bag. It gives you instructions and it gives you spicy stuff that you put in the bag. Season your fries like this. Did you get two? Yes. There should be two there, maybe? You only got one. Okay. I got double the flavour. Thanks, McDonald's. Ah. Let's see if I, I got. Let's see if I got. Let's see if I got enough chips to go with this, because you know sometimes I do see McDonald's chips, and they're a bit, you know, on the shallow side. Are your chips on the shallow side? Only because I've been pinching some. Okay, but originally, were your chips on the shallow side? No, they were good. good. Mine aren't on the shallow side either. They actually are full. Thank you, McDonald's, for actually filling my chips properly. I do appreciate that. So we'll put that there. I'm going to grab one of my seasons. Oh. Now, opening these is not trying to rip it down the side. It's ripping across the top. It's got little marks Yeah, there. it's got little marks on the side. So we'll just open this up. All right. Doesn't it, it just smells like flour? It doesn't smell like anything. I'm gonna taste just the salt. Oh, I think there's something there. Yep. Okay. Oh, no, I can smell something now. I can smell paprika. Well, mine's going in. Whoa! Spicy hit! There's some pep there! Alright, in she goes. All over. Oh. Now, it says on the side here to pinch the top and roll it like oh. that. So they've got an airspace between, between your chips and the top and so that the flavouring doesn't spray out. Shake, 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 shake. All right. Whoa, I can see that they're, they're coated. So I'm going to tip out a few in front of me. There we go. Ooh, you can see they're coated with that, with that orangey. Uh, they're orange. All right. What do you think of the look of these? Well, I'm going to taste them because I know what they look like in here. They look well, like the, they the coating, like you can see that the, you can see that the, the, the salt seasoning has coated them all. All right, go in. Oh, yeah. Spicy. Mmm. Mm. It is a bit spicy. So I think that's why I got a drink. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. I think I can give this a score now. What do you think? Well, I like McDonald's chips anyhow. I'll give it another five. With the added heat in there. Quite good. They haven't let you down, have they? No. With 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 that saying, ex, you know, spicy fries. They are spicy fries. They are spicy fries. So, you're giving them a five? Yes, I am because I like I like the chips. And that that seasoning has gone pretty well with that. Oh, look. If you like spicy things, yes. If you're like me and you just see a chili in front of you and you just start your eyes start watering, 
I would probably maybe think twice about the spicy fries. But I do like going out on a limb occasionally. And I am going to give, look, I'm going to give this a four and a half. I think it's up, it's up there. It's not the best shaker, shaker things I've had in the past. I've had better ones. Remember when they did the cheeseburger shaker fries? They were nice. These are up there. These are up there. So, so I'm giving it a four and a half. You've given it a five. That is a nine and a half out of ten for a combined score for the fries. So, now that you know, go down and grab yourself some spicy goodness at McDonald's. In the chips. They're good. Why chase buds are having a party, are you? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, that has been the Barbecue Bacon Lovers Burger Gourmet Series from McDonald's and their Spicy Shaker Fries. Both of them, eight and a half and nine and a half out of ten. That's a good score. So, if you are on the market for some good fast food, go on down to your nearest McDonald's or do like I did. Pick up your phone and do Uber Eats. Get them to do all the hard work for you. You don't even have to go outside and comb your hair. Yeah. All right, if you see anything you like in these videos, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget if you've got any comments, questions, things I can be doing better, maybe another burger you would like me to try. Leave it in the comments field below on YouTube. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Get notified when I do these. Check out Basket Episodes, my daily vlogs, Urban Explorer, What's in the Box, you name it. I film it. It ends up on YouTube. Go and check my other videos. There's a, there's a whole category of library of them. There's lots. You won't get bored, trust me. There's lots there. I don't even want to go back and look at them. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you in the next video.